teamwork skill. At the University of Detroit Mercy. Cool, your name. What your favorite thing about the great weather. So the next thing that I actually... Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm making it a goal of mine for the rest of D3 summer to film as much as I can. I don't know when I'll actually get around to editing it and posting it, but I think I only got three vlogs up so far and it's already July 8th of my third year of dental school first semester which for us is called summer semester. I decided to pick up the camera right now even though my hair is wet and I'm kind of doing a bunch of random things because I'm about to leave in a little bit for a leadership conference for at the district 6 in Cleveland. So I have my bag that I'm packing over there. I can kind of show you guys what I brought and I'm also just doing some kind of miscellaneous tasks around the house that I thought would maybe share some motivation for you to get things done because I know personally those are some of my favorite vlogs to watch. Just people going through their routine and getting things done makes me feel motivated as well. But let's go through my pre-trip stuff and I'll then get some clips in Cleveland hopefully. So for packing, I'm just bringing my actual backpack that I use for school because I just thought that would be easiest and also the most compact. So far I just have clothes in here so you can't really see. Today I'm dressed very casually just in some Lulu Aligns and this comfy shirt from up north just because we're driving. And then the evening is Chipotle that District 6 is paying for and like board games, just hanging out at the hotel, getting in in the evening kind of thing. And then Saturday is when all of the retreat is. And I'll show you guys some of the programming for that. This is the agenda that they gave us. Basically the whole retreat, again, it's a retreat, it's not a conference, is very casual. So I'm just wearing like another athletic outfit tomorrow, like a zip up and black leggings. And then in the evening I have more of like a going out outfit, a little like tank top and jeans. And then I'm bringing heels. I'm not sure if I'll wear the little, little heel or if I'll wear sneakers, we'll see. So the next thing that I actually wanted to do was clean out my purse really quick. I got a new car, which was very fun last Friday, so one week ago at this point, and I obviously had to kind of sort through all my like car items, and some things ended up back in my purse, or vice versa, and just like refreshing everything basically. I'm pretty sure that everything in here I want to keep for the most part. Lovely. As I was saying, I'm pretty sure I want to keep everything that's in here. I think, yeah, like this is like an old room key. I don't need that. This is a ticket to the American Natural History Museum when I went in New York City over spring break. So there are some things in here that I don't need. And I like to keep some tissues, an extra set of contacts. I have a terrible prescription, negative nine. I really use that as a personality trait that like, oh, I have bad eyesight, but I really do have very bad eyesight. And then I don't always keep my AirPods in there, but it's a cute little case that Justin got me from Etsy for our first Christmas, so a couple years ago. Wallet, this is just from Target, but it's super sleek. So I always keep a protein bar in my purse to avoid that feeling of nausea I'm gonna pass out. And I also get very cranky, so this helps everyone, including myself. Got some change, good stuff, we'll slip brand silk scrunchie. These are my absolute favorite. I'm actually gonna use that one today though. Another one in there. So I usually only like to keep one at a time. So we'll leave this one in there. Burt's Weed is really the only chapstick I'll use. And hand sani, a pen because I'm an adult. So that was really it. I just had a little bit to clean out, but I'm gonna put all my medicine and band-aids into a little plastic bag so they stop like falling all around my purse. This is how you know you're a girly with stomach problems. <laughs> all the medications with you at all times. And my keys will go back in there. I love this little keychain. I even got one for one of my best friends from college, Leonie, for her birthday. But hers is like blue and yellow. Mine's like this pink and orange, little resin H. I think their shop is closed, but I'll find something similar if I can. But just like Etsy, and I think it's very cute and then my fake leather little wristlet just makes it easier to carry everything and this was from amazon so that's done now it's time for some lunch 
It is two o'clock right now. I'm picking up Tommy at three and then like sequentially getting everyone else. So it's Jenna and then Mike just like working more self towards the freeway. And they're um, the other U of M people on a District 6 leadership. This year I don't have a specific position. Last year I was communications director and design director or something. I had two roles, but they kind of coincided. And this year, since I'm president of our chapter, I'm part of the presidential cabinet for District 6, which makes me part of the District 6 cabinet. However, I don't have extra duties on top of my normal presidency at our chapter. I'm really excited to go though and meet some of the students that go to the other dental schools that are part of our District 6 cabinet and also get to know my own Michigan people better. I feel like I'm pretty close with Tommy, Jenna, and Mike though from all of our other leadership stuff at our chapter and just throughout dental school. So I'll probably be focusing on like interacting with other people more, but Jenna and I are like rooming together and stuff at the hotel. So obviously we'll be together a lot because we're the two girls going from Michigan. Our gourmet lunch of the day, leftover from lunch yesterday with my mom and a side of mac and cheese. We just got back from like a July break and it's I guess technically still ongoing. It was this whole first week of July. D2s, D3s, and D4s get it off. First years do not unfortunately just because they start in June so their summer is like very busy and they don't have time to take a full week off but I was up north for the first half with Justin's family and that was a lot of fun and then I got back Tuesday night and then I was with my parents Wednesday and Thursday and I came back here Thursday night and now it's Friday and I'm getting ready to go to Cleveland. So that's kind of how I spent my two weekends week off. And I think that's about everything I have to show you guys for pre going to Cleveland. So we will catch up once I'm in Ohio. Starting off July 8th with our leadership retreat stuff. some downtime now we're about to start one of our last presentations of the day we've just been like cycling through team building activities and we've had a presentation about implants different leadership topics like working in a team getting involved in ASDA so it's been really good so I also talked to a couple students from like the different dental schools, so I'll put those clips in now. Alright, hi guys, I'm Ali Kanafer. I'm a D3 student at the University of Detroit Mercy. Um, the one thing that I like the most about the school is just the general atmosphere. Um, considering it being a big class, I mean usually people kind of get into like their own like little groups and stuff, but at the end of the day, everyone's friendly whenever you have a question, someone that you can reach out to and you always get the answer. But at the end of the day, everyone's like, you know, close friends and they get along very well. Especially for things like here where we're at for this ASDA mm -hmm. retreat. The vibes are nice, the atmosphere is nice, and you know, you kind of have like friends for life kind of thing. The mm -hmm. more you go to and build connections and yeah, yeah that's kind of like the best part of it from nice. my opinion. Fiona, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Fiona Chambers. I'm just starting my second year at Ohio State Dental School. Nice, and what's like your favorite thing about OSU? My favorite thing about OSU is definitely the people. Um, I have a great class this year and we all work together towards a common goal of everyone just succeeding and wanting to become the best dental professionals that we can be. Do you have like a favorite memory from first year? Any fun traditions at your school or anything? Yes, so we do mandible, which I know every school does, but um, ours was a lot of fun this year. Yeah. We had it a little delayed because of COVID and mm -hmm. it was in um, April, so we had great weather. 
and it was just a great way for all four classes to come together oh, and good. bring dates and got to meet just everyone in a different setting outside of the four walls of the dental school. Yay, love that. All right, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Joe. Uh, I am a D3 now at OSU and I'm president of uh, ASDA at OSU. Awesome, so what's been like your favorite thing about OSU's dental school? Well, the new clinic is nice, so that's always helpful. Right now, my D4 mentor, shout out to him, has been just helping me out a ton. So I love that we do a mentor program. I can go in and assist him whenever I want, uh, and that's been super helpful. So got to do a maxillary infiltration recently, which is really cool. So Nice. So if someone's an incoming D1 at OSU, what's like one specific advice you'd give them? I'd give them just hang tight with some of the classes that you have to take D1 year, you'll get through it just like everyone else and uh, then just you know keep doing what you, you can to study hard and by the time you're a D3 you'll you know the world will be a better place. For OSU what's been like your favorite dental school event maybe through ASDA or through something else? Sure favorite event has to be Mr. Moeller Patchen. Okay. Uh, it's like a, a competition that the guys in the dental school one guy from each dental school class does and he'll like will dress up and do, give a talent and then we'll have faculty great <laughs> and it's really fun that's awesome well thank you yes of course all right do you want to tell me where you go to school your name what year you are yeah so i'm joanne uh, i go to case western reserve university and i'm currently a d3 Nice. What's like your favorite thing about going to dental school at Case? So I really like the faculty and staff that we have, especially in the clinic. Um, everyone's super helpful and just like really willing to teach the students and stuff. So if there was an incoming D1 to Case, what's like one tip of advice you'd give them? Like Case specific? Yes. Um, I would definitely get to know your upper years because when you get into clinic, like those are the people that you're going to go to for like everything basically. Um, just because transitioning in the clinic is, you know, there's a lot of new things getting thrown at you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely get to know, especially the class above you, because they're going to be the ones that are just going to give you all their knowledge. So. What are some ways that you like met people? So since we kind of came in during COVID, everything was online, so it was kind of hard. But I just joined a bunch of clubs. Like our school is very like fraternity heavy, so like everyone's in a fraternity. So that was like one of the main ways that I met um, upper years and just. Mm -hmm everyone like <laughs> so yeah nice well thank you yeah of course. we got back around five o'clock from the end of all the programming so we got to chill for a little bit and now it's six so we're getting ready for the evening festivities they have a bus taking us over to a local bar here with that they rented out from seven to ten with dinner and drinks for us and then we'll see if people continue on kind of bar hopping throughout the night or if we'll come back here because i know we want to get on the road kind of early so tbd on that but it should be fun either way we had a lot of great presentations with the different kind of like leadership teamwork topics as well as like different interactive activities so we could get to know each other as like a cabinet but also teamwork skills and like leadership skills and then we had a really great presentation from BioHorizons about dental implants and then we also had three dentists from Aspen Dental come talk to us as well because they were sponsors for the conference and lunch was provided during the day. So pretty much everything has been covered and taken care of for us, so we just get to show up and meet everyone and learn and have a great time. So that's why one of the reasons as events are always really great.